And two-thirds of people around the world thought the world would be a better place if men thought more like women. And in that context, we started to get really curious about this. We said, okay, well, what does thinking like a woman mean? How can it make the world a better place? It's a bit of a challenge for me. Michael and I are both obviously not women. We've been married for 20 years. We live in all women households, but that's not really empirical research. So what we did is we went back into our data and we took our sample of 64,000 people and we divided it in half, okay? Half the sample, we gave them these words, 125 different sort of skills, words, traits, and we asked them to classify them by gender. Now what we also did is we took the other half of the sample with no mention of gender whatsoever, and we just said, what are the skills we need today to be an effective modern leader? What sort of skills do we need to guide leadership, success, morality, and happiness? You can go forward for me, please. And so in that context, we took the data and we actually modeled it to try to understand what was happening. And it was really interesting to us because we started to see there was a lot of agreement about what people thought was masculine and feminine. And there was also this feeling and, and agreement in the research that feminine skills and values are ascendant. If you can forward for me, please. So this is a chart that looks at leadership. And what you see is that there's sort of a high degree of feminine skills and values that are taking greater urgency with people. So when we look at this, the most correlated with the ideal modern leader, according to 64,000 people, were traits like being expressive, planning for the future, this idea of thinking long term. Now it's interesting, decisive and resilience were masculine qualities and they were seen as very important. But look at how they're balanced by things like collaboration, flexibility, patience, being intuitive over just being analytical. But I guess what really surprises us in the data is that sort of the, the idea of the typical profile of your stereotypical, I guess, CEO being aggressive and proud were actually the least correlated with the ideal modern leader.